Okay. Hey everyone, welcome to the Portrait Masters Conference Live. We're doing a little uh, live series each week to get you guys hyped for this conference. I'm so excited for this year. TPM is always my favorite conference of the year for photographers. And I just can't wait. So let me know in the chat where you're tuning in from. We're going to wait a minute just to make sure everyone gets logged on. Um, so yeah, just drop in the chat where you're tuning in from. So I know you're here. I'm here seeing people say... Austin, Texas, Brooklyn, New York, Oregon. Oh my gosh, so amazing. Um, also, let me know if you already have your TPM ticket because I am excited to know who else is going to be there this year. I'm seeing Dallas, Texas, Connecticut, so many awesome locations from across the United States. And hopefully we get some people tuning in internationally as well because one thing I love about TPM is it brings people from all around the world. Um, and oh, yeah, I'm seeing some Canadians in the chat, Ontario. Um, so yeah, we always get people from not just uh, the United States and Canada, but really, truly all over the world, which is one of the amazing things of this conference. Um, so I am so excited to be live with you guys today. i um, just going to give it a couple more minutes. I'm seeing that we have people from Hawaii, my favorite place on earth, um, Florida. Um, this is so awesome. North Carolina, more Canada, Ohio. Hey, everyone. I am so glad you are here. So for some of you watching, you might be a TPM regular, you've been before and you love it. And for some of you watching, you might never have been and this is your first time coming to the conference or thinking about coming to the conference. And either way, I am just so excited for you and so excited to share what unique things we have going on this year. Um, and for those of you who don't know me, I'll just introduce myself. My name is Ashley Taylor. I am an official mentor with the portrait system and I'm an educator in the Portrait Master store and I'm a, an accredited fellow photographer with the Portrait Masters and I have a portrait studio in Santa Barbara, California. Um, and I have been to TPM every single year since the very first year in, I believe that was 2017 in Palm Springs. So I have seen the full evolution. And like I said, it is always my favorite time of year because it's where I get to connect with my photo family. It always leaves me so inspired. I always feel like when I come back from the Portrait Masters, I come back with all these new things to try in my studio. I just feel ready to take it to the next level. I always see big growth in my studio and my business, both financially and creatively. And it's just a really exciting time. Um, and you just get that feeling when you leave the conference, like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I had to say goodbye to all my friends. Like it does feel a little bit like sleepaway camp in the best way <laughs> for, uh, for grownups who are photographers. Um, so let's uh, get started and we're going to talk about what's new this year and what you don't want to miss this in this year's conference. And I'm excited to tell you that we have a special guest on today's broadcast, and that is Brie Orozco. And she is Sue Bryce's longtime hairstylist. You may have seen her in a lot of the videos. And if you love Sue's work and you love all the gorgeous hair that always happens with Sue's models and clients. Brie is the magician behind that. Um, and Brie also leads the hair and makeup artist team for the Portrait Masters Conference. She styles all like the models for the shooting bay and she's deeply involved in that. So I'm really excited to talk to her today about what she has planned for this year's shooting bays because that's always one of the most exciting parts of the conference. Um, I also want to tell you that I want you to stay to the end of this presentation because we're giving away prizes, including gift cards and a huge prize, which is a ticket to the conference. So that's an $1,800 value, that ticket. 
So if you want to win a free ticket to the conference, stay to the end because you don't want to miss out. I also have a special secret announcement I'll be making too. So you're not going to want to miss this broadcast. All righty. So um, if you're excited for this broadcast, drop in the chat, let me know. And um, I want to just give you a little bit of TPM in a nutshell. Um, let's break it down. So TPM is a boutique uh, photography conference that is very specific to like portrait studios. Um, so that is one of the really unique things about this conference is you don't have other genres like wedding or um, I mean, yeah, wedding, commercial, that kind of thing. It's really, really geared toward portrait studio photographers. Um, and so you get like vendors at the trade show that are specialized and every aspect of this conference is designed for our genre in mind. And that is what makes it so special. Um, so I want to tell you that right now, between now and July 21st, you can get conference tickets for $1,500. So you're saving $300 from the full price. And um, to get that deal, you want to use the code SUE100. So please take action on that. It's an amazing detail and you're definitely going to want to be a part of this year's conference. And let me tell you one reason why. Um, Sue Bryce announced that this is her last year speaking at a big conference and we want to make it her best year yet. This is really, if you are a Sue Bryce fan and you have been wanting to learn from her in person, or maybe you've gotten to see her speak before, but you just can't get enough, um, and you are really excited to see her speak again, this is your last opportunity at a big photography conference to do that. So please take advantage of this de deal because you definitely don't want to miss out on this. And the other thing is that this is the last year that the Portrait Masters Conference will be held in Phoenix, Arizona. Um, next year, the event, the 2024 event, is going to move to Las Vegas, and it's going to be a part of the WPPI Bigger Convention. So we want to make this last conference in Arizona our biggest party yet. Um, and if you've been wanting to come to Arizona, this is your last chance to do it. And let me tell you why going to the Arizona Grand Resort is so fun. Um, there's a huge water park. And, you know, if you arrive the day before the conference or stay a day late, you really get to enjoy hanging out in the pools. There's a lazy river. There's water slides. If you want to bring your family, it's just so much fun. Um, also, just Phoenix is beautiful. Um, so if you've been looking for that kind of resort experience mixed with a photography conference, you definitely don't want to miss out this year. Um, okay, so let's talk about uh, the 2023 show in detail. I want to run you through some of the highlights um, that are new and some of the things that make this conference so incredible. Um, and if you've been to this conference before, I want you to know that this year is going to be huge. We are coming back with a vengeance. We're bringing the energy, the excitement. We're engaging with the community. We just have so many exciting things planned. And I just want to tell you all about them. So one of the things I've mentioned a little bit that makes this conference so incredible is the shooting bays. Um, the shooting bays, if you're not familiar, are like set up little photo studios all around the trade show and you get in line and their lighting setups are different at every single one. And what's really cool about that is you might find lighting setups that are really different to what you would do at home, but that's a good thing because it helps you see what is possible for you. And these lighting setups are also in pretty small Boost. So they're very recreatable to anyone's studio at home. So one thing I always love to tell people to do is to take a photo of um, like a pullback photo or maybe a photo of um, the setup with your iPhone. Um, that way you can 
recreate your favorite setups at home. And all the shooting bays always have gorgeous elephant backdrops and we have um, really incredible styled models. So it's a great way to also build your portfolio. If you need a refresh in your portfolio, maybe you need more images to showcase on your Instagram and social media so people can see how booked and busy you are. Um, maybe you need to just have some fun creatively because you do kind of the same thing on repeat at home. In all these situations, the shooting bays are so great for that. And they just leave you feeling so inspired. Um, and one thing we have this year that's new, that is a very cool, are pool shooting bays. So I helped Sue, I was one of the mentors at the Graphy Studio Italy workshop that just happened about a month ago. And Sue brought a pool to Italy and we had models in there every day and the attendees got to photograph them. And this is an example um, on the slides of what Sue, uh, how like her final photo came out. Cause I know sometimes when you hear pool bay, like maybe, Maybe you can't envision how cool that is, but the shots that you get with the pool are so incredible. And um, we've never done this before at TPM. And this is different than like if you were to take um, a friend and maybe do your own shoot at the hotel pool. Well, that could be cool too. Um, that pool is very deep. So you can't really you know, maneuver the same way. These are just like kiddie pools. Um, so you're able to get the model to pose without, you know, going fully underwater, or really having to float um, and work too, too hard on their body. But you get to get these incredible shots with just like the texture and um, look of the water and the reflection. And there's just something so magical and ethereal about it. So I am really excited for you to be able to experience these pool bays for the first time ever. Um, give me one second, guys. I just need to tell Artic something. Um... Okay, sorry about that. Um, okay, so the next thing I want to tell you guys about are the mentor bays. So we did this last year, um, and it was really popular. And we're bringing it back even bigger this year, there are more mentors doing it. So um, aside from there just being shooting bays where you get the experience shooting, you are going to get the opportunity to have one on one mini mentor coaching sessions with the TPS members. So that includes myself and then Kat Ford Coates, Sarai Taylor Roman, Bethany Tubman Joes, Felicia Reed, Hedonica Murphy, Tammy Zurich Allen, Kitty McAmeal, uh, Ann Landstrom. Hopefully I'm not missing anyone. Linka Jones. <laughs> um, there are so many of us. I think there are about 11 or 12 of us total. Um, and we are going to be stationed around the trade show. And last year, this was really, really amazing because I was able to help people with um, the things that I'm really great at, like their online marketing, um, their networking, their Facebook ads, their Instagram marketing, and I know that the conversations I had with people, it really opened their eyes to things that they hadn't thought about before. And then I've also heard from so many attendees about the amazing conversations they've had with the other mentors, because each of us has our own specialty. Like Felicia is just an amazing expert at getting super high sales and being so good with money. And um, Hadonica will just transform your life. <laughs> Um, Kitty McNeil and Anne both are so great at helping women um, attendees or any attendee that might be, you know, over 45 start starting their business and needing that like inspiration and help on how you do this maybe as a second career or something that you're doing later in life. Um, so there are just so many great opportunities to have amazing conversations with the mentors and I'm really excited about that this year. We also have 28 plus vendors at the trade show. And this is a really great experience to just walk around the trade show and get to see the latest things that could help your photography business. Sometimes they're 
things that you're just completely unaware of. Sometimes it's like seeing Graffy's new products. For example, I got to see again in Italy, some new products that they have coming out. Um, and I was really, um, I was really excited um, to, <laughs> sorry about that for a second. I just lost my train of thought. Um, so what I was saying is I was really excited to get to see these uh, new products in Italy. They're so gorgeous by Graffy and they haven't really fully announced them yet to the public. Hopefully they'll be at the trade show this year, but um, it's really incredible. And that's just one example of why meeting vendors is a good thing. You also might meet vendors that end up wanting to sponsor you or you build a relationship with them. So when something goes wrong, you know, which hopefully it never goes wrong in your business, but sometimes it does. And when you actually have a relationship with a vendor, it makes the process of getting your needs met and your problems solved that much quicker. So there are so many great reasons to look around the trade show and spend time there. And it's really one of my favorite parts of attending any photo conference. But again, with TPM, all the vendors are really geared toward portrait photographers. So it makes it so much more efficient and effective. Okay, let's talk about the parties. Uh, I mean, that's low key our favorite part, right? <laughs> I mean, the speakers are great, the mentoring's great, the shooting bays are great, but what we really came for were those parties. Um, so we have three big parties. We have a pool party, which, you know, it's at night, we get the pool to ourselves. It's so fun. Um, you don't have to, you know, go swimming if you don't want to. You could wear your clothes and just go dancing, um, or you can get in the pool. It's just a really, fun time. And I do think that's where that like kind of um, let loose for photographers energy really comes out. And then one of my favorite, favorite, favorite things about TPM is the silent disco. It's so much fun. If you haven't done a silent disco before, basically you get headphones and there's a few different channels that you can switch between that the DJ has different music on. And usually it's like themed. So maybe there's like an 80s music station and there's a more like pop hit station. But it's really fun because if you don't like one song, you can always switch channels. And then um, because everyone's music is playing through the headphones, the room is actually quiet. So if you're not a dancer and you don't want to um, go crazy dancing, you could actually take your headphones off and have a conversation with people without yelling at the top of your lungs. Um, and if you are dancing, it's just funny to look around the room because everyone, like I said, you know, people are dancing on different channels. So you might see someone singing and dancing to one song and you're vibe into another song. And it's just, there's no way to describe it other than it's really funny. Um, and the silent disco always has a costume party aspect to it, which I love a good costume party, guys. Um, so right now, if you have your ticket and you're in the Portrait Masters 2023 Conference private Facebook group, there's a poll going on. So you can go vote on what your uh, what you want the costume theme to be. So right now, the theme of Yacht Rock is winning. And that's basically like cruise ship attire, sailors, nautical vibes um but there's a couple other options too so if you are passionate about what your costume should be this year you want to join get your ticket get in there and vote so we can all be on the same page pick a winner and get our costumes um and then on the last night of the conference, we always have a karaoke party, which is so much fun. We have a lot of talented singers in this portrait masters community. It's really cool to see people just bring out their inner superstars. And it's just always a good time, that closing party, because you just feel the love of this community that's so special. Um, and it's just... I don't know how to explain it. There's always like tears and happy tears in a good way at that closing party because you're just like, oh, my friends, I can't believe it. This Another year has come to an end and everyone's singing and it's just it's just so special. 
Okay, so for some of you, the parties may not be as exciting, but what you're here to do is learn, right? I mean, we're all here to learn. And there are seven live shoots and two amazing keynote presentations happening on the main stage. So that's nine different instructors, um, really incredible incredible people this year. We have David Su, who if you don't know him, he has a huge like millions of TikTok followers. Um, but he is one of us. He came from the portrait uh, system community. He was one of the students in Sue Rice's men's workshop intensive. And he has really created this amazing following with TikTok. And he does he does the funniest and really unique video. So if you don't know who he is, I would say get TikTok or Instagram because he has an account there too. Um, open it up, start watching his content because I know that that's going to be amazing. And I've been lucky enough to interview him for the Clubhouse episodes of uh, the Portrait System podcast. And he was just so fun to talk to then. So I know that we're going to learn a lot from him when he hits the main stage. And of course, Sue Bryce is going to give an amazing keynote presentation as well that you are absolutely not going to want to miss. We also have Elena Blair, Jerry Guiones, Kesha Lambert, uh, Loretta Houston, Ori Adesina, uh, Terry Hofford, and uh, Scott Robert Lim. Such incredible instructors. I think we're going to just be completely blown away by every single presentation. There's so much diversity in not only the speakers, but what they teach and uh, their perspective on shooting. So we're really going to learn so many different things. And even like if you don't shoot, say, what one of the speakers shoots, like, for example, I know Ori does like couples boudoir. Maybe that's not what you do and you don't want to do that. That's OK, because sometimes you take something away from a speaker that you were never expecting to take away. And even if they shoot a completely different genre, you just learn something about their perspective that totally works with your business. So uh, that's one thing I love is that Sue is always picking the best speakers for us and giving us new perspectives to learn from. This conference, one of the greatest things about it is the friends and networking that you make in this photography community. And you might be thinking, why do I need to network with other photographers? But let me tell you, having people in this community that you're friends with that you can rely on is such a special thing. Like, for example, um, I met two friends, uh, you know, years ago through this community, uh, Rachel Owen and Emily Drew. And this year we ended up traveling to the UK together um, for a, a photography competition. We all play super high. We traveled to Scotland and got to like see sites together. And that literally wouldn't have happened if I hadn't met them at the Portrait Masters. Um, Similarly, I've gotten into pickles where like I'm traveling somewhere and I have a client in another state and I need to rent gear or I need to rent a studio. And knowing that I have friends in this community that I can rely on and call up and ask for help or can I borrow this? Can I rent this from you? That is such an amazing thing. So don't discount the power of having friends who do exactly what you do all around the globe. It is truly powerful. And one of the things that I love about this conference is constantly expanding my network of photography friends. I mentioned this earlier, but I'm going to say it again. This is Sue's last conference, uh, TPM conference, photography conference. Um, she announced this last week that this is the last one where she will be the host and the teacher of a photo conference. And she intends to make this the best uh, portrait masters ever. So if you want to see Sue at a photo conference one last time hitting the stage, giving an amazing, inspiring keynote that will probably leave you in tears and change your life, you do not want to miss this opportunity. And like I said, it is the last conference at the Arizona Grand Resort. So if you uh, have been wanting to 
go to Phoenix to not only get that conference experience and all the learning and all the networking, but also lay in the pool and relax um, or potentially bring your family so they can have a great vacation. This is the year to do it because next year we will be a part of WPPI in Las Vegas. So if you want to join, there is that deal where you can get $300 off your conference ticket, making it $1,500. Use the code SU100. This discount ends on July 21st. Now, we have lots of details about the schedule for TPM on the website, but if you want to see it in detail, um, definitely go to theportraitmasters.com to check it all out. Um, but I'm just going to kind of run through it. On Monday, September 11th at 9 a.m., registration starts. So you probably want to arrive in Arizona on the 10th so that you can hit the ground running on the 11th. And we have something really special this year, which I'll get into a little bit more, but there are breakout classes. I'm one of the instructors. Um, there's also Kat Ford Coates, Sarai Taylor Roman, Leslie Andrews, Damali Shepard, Richard Wood, um, Nikki Klosser, Felicia Reed, and Sue herself. So there are so many great instructors to learn from at these breakout classes. The breakout classes are an additional um, ticket. It's optional. You don't have to buy it. You choose a speaker speaker or speakers you want to go see. Um, but I would highly recommend it as an add-on because I know that each of these little mini workshops are going to be intimate and you're going to learn so much from them. I can tell you with my breakout class, um, I'm going to be teaching Facebook ads. And I rarely, even though I have a course in the Portrait Master store that teaches you this, I rarely get a chance to teach Facebook ads to people live in person and get to interact with them and really answer their questions in real time. So if you have been wanting that experience from me personally, you should sign up for my breakout class. And I know um, Sarai is teaching like movement and photography, um, Leslie Andrews teaching lighting, like there's just so many great classes happening. So we have our breakout classes and um, then we have Sue doing a breakout class from 2 to 5 p.m. And then you get dinner on your own. We have food trucks so that it's really easy. Um, and then um, we have Scott Robert Lim um, from 6.30 to 7.30 in a cannon shootout in um, one of the ballrooms. And you can see Jeremy Cower, Michelle Celentano, and Sue Bryce. So how this works is like you're basically going to get to watch three different instructors shoot live and see what each of them does with like a scenario that has constraints on it. So it's really cool to see how different photographers essentially take the same uh, tools and scenarios and come up with three completely different perspectives and um, images. And then we are going to have the TPM awards and accreditation ceremony. So if you are someone who participates in the awards, you don't want to miss this because this is a really special time to get recognized um, and to kind of recap the year in the awards. And then we have what is called George's Bar. So George is Sue's husband, who also is, you know, one of the masterminds of this whole conference. And he is so much fun. And he has kind of invented this thing called George's Bar. And that's really just a hangout. Um, you don't have to, dr I'm not really a drinker. You don't have to drink alcohol if you don't want to. Of course you can. And it's really just a time for everyone to hang out, kind of start relaxing so that, you know, you can get a few hours of sleep. And then we hit the ground running at 8.30 a.m. the next day. And we have keynote presentations, um, lunch, the trade show opens, there's the pool party. Um, and that's kind of how each day works is we have some speakers. Then in the afternoon, you get to go to do the trade show. Um, and then there's a party at night. So it's just so much fun. Um, I didn't mention the breakout courses uh, when I was explaining the schedule, but you really don't want to miss this. This is something brand new. We've never done uh, breakout classes before. Um, each speaker is doing the same class twice with the exception of, of Sue, who has one big long class at the end. So it's possible to get uh, to see multiple breakout classes if you want to. Um, so I would really recommend that you check this out because it's a way to learn 
from all of us about a topic that maybe you feel like you need a little more help with or inspiration with in your business in a more intimate setting um, because they will be smaller classes. Um, So don't miss out on your opportunity to grab that. Um, And we are going to be doing new announcements about the conference every single week with these lives with me. So I would encourage you to mark this on your calendar. Tune in every Wednesday at noon Pacific um, leading up to the Portrait Masters Conference and we will get hyped together. So let me answer some of your questions and then we're going to bring Brie on so that we can hear more about the models and the shooting based styling this year. Um, One question that was asked is why no VIP tickets this year? So um, we're always looking to make this the best experience possible. And we've had mixed reviews on the VIP experience. Um, You know, it does leave some people feeling a little left out. So we just opted not to do it this year. But instead, we have those breakout classes available for you to make an additional, that's an additional add-on purchase, um, but ultimately still cheaper than what a VIP ticket would have been. And that gives you specific access to an intimate class or multiple classes that inspire you. So we feel like it's a great compromise and it really gives people the opportunity to kind of choose your own adventure with this conference. So if you are looking for that intimate experience, please check out the breakout classes. And then um, we've been asked some questions about the pool bays. So will the pool bays be outdoors? Nope, they were, they're going to be right indoors in the trade show hall. So you can, that just makes it really efficient. Like you can hop to a regular shooting bay, you can talk with a mentor, you can go uh, to a vendor and see what they're up to. And then you can just hop over to a pool without having to go outside at all. It'll be beautifully air conditioned. Um, one thing I would also tell you guys is if you haven't been before, dress in layers because it can be very ac in the uh, conference halls and in the trade show hall. And then outdoors in Arizona can be pretty warm. So, um, you know, that is my recommendation is have layers. So when you step outside, you can peel those layers off. And when you're inside, if you're cold in the AC, you can put those layers back on. Um, And then another question is, do I have to stay at the resort? So you absolutely don't have to stay at the resort. Um, You know, in the past, I know there have been even people who are attending that are like, they live in Phoenix, for example, so they might stay at home. But the thing is, that remember how I mentioned that this is kind of photographer sleepaway camp in the most fun sense. It's so much fun and more convenient and easier if you actually stay at the resort. Those are long days. You know, you might stay up till midnight (laughs) and then wake up at, I don't know, whatever time you need to wake up to have breakfast and be ready to listen to a talk at 8.30 in the morning, right? So you're gonna be running on maybe a little less sleep than normal um, and you're not gonna wanna miss out and have to leave early uh, to miss out on the parties or um, to maybe not get there in time for the first speaker, right? So staying at the resort just makes it so much easier and you have the pools and it's just, um, there's restaurants, we have uh, food trucks for everyone. So it's just so much easier. Um, But if you're worried about the expense of staying at the resort, um, I would, like once you buy your ticket, you can join the um, VIP, like not the VIP, the uh, ticketed only, members, sorry, I'm like losing my words, Facebook group that's just for the people who have a ticket, right? So we have a Facebook group that's just for people who have a conference ticket. And once you are in that group, you can ask if anyone wants a roommate and you can find a roommate. Um, and then it becomes super fun. Um, I am going to, I know there are more questions coming in, but I'm actually going to bring Brie on right now. And then that way, all the questions can kind of come in and I'll finish answering them after I talk to Brie. Um, so Brie, welcome. Let's see if we can get her. Ah, there Hello. she is. Hi. Hi. I'm here. You? I'm good. How are you? I'm so I'm- excited to be here. 
So excited to have you. So for those of you who don't know, this is Brie Orozco. She um, has been Sue Rice's longtime hairstylist for all Sue's shoots. And she's always, since really the inception of TPM, right, been the head of hair and makeup for the shooting bays and styling the model and being models many models and being involved in that team. Um, and you've really seen the evolution of this conference. So I thought it would be so fun to, to talk about your favorite things about this conference, your favorite looks from the past and what we have coming up this year. Um, yeah, so first of all, if you're like on the fence about coming to Portrait Masters, like come. The, just the experience is like, unlike anything I've ever seen before. It's the connection to all these people especially if you've been chatting on them with social media for a while like it's so much different being able to connect with them in person and then you know all the education the speakers the vendors like and then the shooting days which is why I'm here to talk about <laughs> um yeah so this year is going to be amazing I'm actually this will be the first year that I'm going to have a hand in like selecting models who are yeah, so I asked Dan, I was like, Dan, I want to be a part of, you know, getting the models in here, especially because it has taken me like six years to really find uh, a hair and makeup team that, you know, can help me just create like all of these beautiful looks that we want everybody to photograph. So I'm really excited for that. And it's just, it's like creating a, a different vibe in every shooting bay that you go to, you know, so... I think it's going to be great and I'm really excited. Yeah. Um, speaking of a different vibe in every shooting day, I'm always amazed at seeing all the different looks and styles. And um, we have everything from, I would say, like the fantastical to something that's maybe more representative of what you would have a client do for sure. in your home studio. Um, I don't know if you remember, but a few years ago, I had that gold oliphant and the um, Af it was Aphrodite. And yes. she, like the icon that was one of my all-time favorite like, shooting day looks <laughs> yeah like since you bring that up I can like I just have like that image in my head was like she was wearing that like headpiece right with like the red robe and yeah just, just like the poses she did I was just like okay what what am I going to do next year with her you know but she's probably one of the most like versatile models that I've ever worked with because we, we can create her in so many different ways and like you're not going to get the same shot of her twice I don't think yeah so I, I'm really hoping fingers crossed which I don't see why we wouldn't but uh having her back here again she's great yeah um do you want to maybe speak to also like do, do the looks this year change each day or are they going to stay the same or um my plan is it's I feel like the first day is always like the trial run because you know it's like our first time I'll kind of like getting the models ready like that first day is like let's just get them out on time let's make sure they look good and get them out on time and that second and third day is when we're like okay we've had our first day rush we kind of know what the vibe is know what the pace is and then we can have more room to kind of play around but I did handpick uh each hair and makeup artist that's on the team and I want to give us at least two and three two or three uh editorial looks so we're gonna have like the basic like really pretty stuff that you would most likely shoot on your own and then we're gonna do some like high fashion like gorgeous just I'm really excited I'm like I'm getting excited like I have Pinterest boards ready and um we're also gonna work hand in hand with the wardrobe stylist so it's not like we're just putting them in whatever we're curating like I said curating vibes for every every base so we're going to be looking at the backdrop we're going to match the clothes to the backdrop then from there we're going to match the hair and the makeup to you know create a cohesive look for everybody and it's it's going yeah. to be sick so yeah it's definitely and the pool bays I know you've talked about it. I'm just like can we talk about the pool bay again because yes, let's talk about the pool bay. <laughs> it's going to be really cool especially because not everybody has access to something like this so this is like the perfect time to kind of create images that you wouldn't necessarily do on your own. Like this is that time to come and play and just create really cool, really cool stuff. Yeah, I um, 
I mean, I think for me, like I, as you've been to my studio in Santa Barbara, I have a small space. It's on the second floor. The bathroom is down the hall. Like there's really no yes. realistic way for me to ever get a pool in my studio. For Not sure. that I couldn't like, you know, maybe go someplace else and shoot it outside, but it would, it would not be something that I could just regularly easily offer my clients, but having experienced it in Italy and the shots were so cool that, I mean, it's just fun to play. Like sometimes I think we get so, um, um, in our business that like in, in the routine of our business and serving our clients that we kind of forget that like, hey, we became photographers to be creative and to be inspired and to like be artists. And um, in Italy, I really felt like the time that I got to shoot in the pool bay kind of reminded me that I'm not just a business owner. I am an artist as well. Yes, exactly. And I love, I love what you just said. Like, like not especially with me but with me as well like a lot of my personal clients are just very like not basic but it's just kind of like stuff that I do every day you know so when I do get to come to these events it's like about cr just creating and just kind of getting everything out of my mind and like putting it into something that I could see you know like just doing all that so it's going to be really cool and I'm so excited so yeah. please um, if you're thinking about it, you need to be here. This is like Ashley was saying, like this is going to be the last one um, in Arizona. Also, the resort is beautiful, by the way. It's, it's like everything all in one. It's self-contained. You don't have to go anywhere. You know, you can just stay yeah. there. And, um, yeah, it's going to be good. Magical yeah. things are going to happen for sure. <laughs> um, one question I had for you, because I know I hear this sometimes from photographers is like, oh, but then is everyone going to have the same shots? But you get to see like, because the people tag you, all the different shots that people create in the um, shooting base. So maybe you could kind of speak to that. Yeah, I think a good plan when you're coming into the shooting base is kind of have an idea of what you want the model to do. Because you know, like I walk around all the bays and I kind of see like how everything is going and you can kind of direct the model. And like, if you have a vision, like say it, like tell them or else the model is just going to kind of do her own thing, you know? So definitely like, don't be afraid to kind of talk and direct them, but also remember like they're people. So don't, <laughs> you know, like talk to them like a person, not like you're trying to like pose an object or whatever, but yeah, like definitely if you have this vision in mind, like, don't be afraid to kind of, like, tell them and, like, they'll do it. They're models. They they know what they're doing, yeah. you know. Um, so, no, I see a lot of different shots. The only thing is we, because we curate every style, is we don't really like when uh, photographers want to, like, remove clothing or have yeah. them, like, do a hair change in the middle of the bay because you only have what, like a couple of minutes while you're it's shooting? Like 60 seconds, yeah. Okay, yeah. And then we just don't want to be, especially because the lines can kind of build up, we don't want to take time away from everybody. So those looks that we curate should stay the way that they are. Yeah, and same with the yeah. lighting setups, but even right. with those parameters, I've personally seen like so many different, because people choose different angles and different yeah. like, lenses and then they edit it their own way and um I know one of uh our members in the community Alana Lee she um you know is an editing expert and some of the things that she's just done with the images she's shot she's you know composited them and made them into these really fantastical things that like I'm like I can't believe that that was from the shooting like that this started with the shooting base so really what you shoot is only limited to your imagination of how you can yeah final product that's unique 100 percent. that's so cool yeah um okay so very last question is um well I guess two questions one is what is your favorite TPM memory oh my gosh my favorite TPM memory it was probably god the parties are so good too you know so it's like <laughs> is it like a party memory or is it I feel like it's the shooting base. Like I, I love just walking around and just seeing all the attendees just get so stoked on like what they're about to shoot and just seeing them like light up when they get the shot. I'm just like, Oh my God, like me and the team, like we helped them create that and get that. So I think it's just seeing everybody just get really stoked on being there. And yeah. Yeah. And of course, like seeing all of my friends, like through this community, like I've been with Sue for so long, just, meeting everybody that I've been friends with on social media, like finally getting to like a place where we're all together and just 
hanging out and seeing them. That's it's really cool too. Yeah. And then, okay. Very last question is what are you most, most looking forward to at TPM this year? What am I most looking forward to? Um, I, I honestly, I think it's going to be the looks because like I was saying earlier, this is like, I feel like I got the team locked down and like, now that I am going to have a hand in picking the models, like, I don't know. I, I think it's going to be really good. So okay, I think well, just like the looks and creating is going to be like top tier, which is very appropriate for it being the last one. Like we're going to come in with the looks for sure. Yeah. I'm like grinning so hard because I'm like, oh, yeah, he's saying this. It is on. Like you guys yeah. do want to make out. <laughs> this is going to be next level. Like this woman is a yeah. like magician. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not trying to hype myself up or the team, but, uh, it's gonna be good you guys so please come please tag us in the photos and I will post um I always do this after every event like I'll go into the private Facebook group and just put all the artist tags all the model tags because we love just seeing all the different images and like I said these are going to be good so I'm really excited I can't wait well thank you so much for coming on yes. and I can't wait to see you at TPM awesome thanks for having me and I'll see hopefully I'll see all you guys soon Bye. Thank you. Bye. Okay. Well, that was amazing. I am really excited. I don't know about you guys. Um, I want to answer just a few last of your questions and then we'll get into the giveaways. Um, okay. So um, one of the questions that's been asked is, can husbands or partners, spouses, um, come to any of the parties. So they can, but they have to buy their own drinks. Um, and then someone, uh, so someone said taking time to photograph fellow photographers for branding photos is also wonderful. So that wasn't really a question, but more of like, a note. Um, but yes, it's a, a wonderful point and a great note. So one thing that's so cool, again, about this being a photography community is you have free time and you can use that free time however you want. So if you want to organize like things that have happened in the past, people have organized like little shootouts on their own where maybe at sunrise, because that's the coolest time of the day, but you could do it at sunset too. When I say coolest, I mean temperature coolest. Um, you guys could go like out into the desert and create magical desert shots. You guys could trade uh, headshots with each other. You guys can uh, do, like I've seen boudoir shoots happen, traded in the, ho the hotel rooms. Like it's really what you guys do on your free time, as long as it's like safe, and everyone is like on board with it um, is really up to you guys and you can make it whatever you want. So if you want to take pictures um, of each other, that is so um, amazing. And I am hearing this for the first time, but there's going to be some self-serve bays without models, but we'll have backdrops and lights. What? So you can take pictures of each other. We have not officially had this before. So this is exciting news to me. And I am really excited about that. You could get some pretty amazing pictures of yourself, trade with other people if you need new branding photos. Amazing. Um, We've been asked if the Rain Bay will be present again this year. Unfortunately, that vendor wasn't able to make it. But instead, we have the Pool Bays, which honestly, I think is even cooler because the Rain Bay, like, talk about recreating something in your studio. The Rain Bay is almost completely impossible to recreate unless you want to invest in all of that infrastructure. So to, you know, a kiddie pool isn't that big of an investment guys so once you learn how to do these pool bays that might become something that you'd offer as like a special shoot um so um yeah um okay so do we have post-production bays this year uh yes we have some post-production bays featuring Pratik Nayak, Richard Wood, and Alana Lee. Alana Lee is who I just referred to as someone who takes these shots from the models at the booths and turns them into something that you just 
it doesn't look like it was shot in the booth. Um, you know, she makes all kinds of fantastical images. So you're definitely going to want to learn from her. And of course, Richard Wood and Pratik Nayak are amazing. Um, and let's see, I just want to make sure that I'm answering everyone's questions. Will there be more male models this year? Um, well, we haven't finished the process yet, but um, it's to be determined. And we just had Brie on. So, um, you know, we'll put in that request. But we do plan to have a couple of male models. Um, and... Um, are there favorite spots to shoot at the resort the resort is really beautiful um so there's lots of like what i would say nooks or crannies um like there's some arches that are really beautiful there's like some ivy that's beautiful if you're the kind of person that loves like a fountain in the shot there's a lot of like big fountains um but there's also like just white wall corners where if you just wanted something really clean and it didn't look like it was shot like it on location you could do it there um you know you guys are so creative I I'm creative too but um when I am at these events I am typically working so I don't always get the same level of free time to like run around the resort and take pictures but I have seen some really really amazing stuff uh that attendees have done at the resort and I recognize the spots you know so um there are really great um places and in the past people have even shot at the you know like I mentioned the deeper pool like the actual swimming pools um but that has a different level of challenge and you probably want some sort of like uh housing for your camera which you don't need any of that for the little pools that we're having at the pool bays um okay so how is the one-on-one -on -one mentoring going to work this year? So all of the mentors who are on that side, um, have we have our own bays uh, this year that are going to be on the trade show floor. So just kind of like a shooting bay, you'll line up, we'll have uh, timers set so everyone gets the same amount of time. If the line is short and you still have questions uh, to be answered, you can always go back in line, same as a shooting bay. Um, and, um, you know, you can really use this time for, there's not uh, parameters really around what questions you have. So if you wanna bring your portfolio on your phone or your iPad, or like last year people um, pulled up their phone and showed me their Instagram profiles and I was able to audit their Instagram for them. Um, or, you know, if you have a particular mentor in mind, like let's say you wanna know how Felicia Reed gets those 10K uh, sales, like come with some questions prepared and go line up and ask her your questions like, um, or you wanna know how Bethany retouches something, maybe take a screenshot of one of Bethany's pictures and be like, hey, can you tell me a little bit about how you achieved this look? Like you can use this, you can do your research on us if you want and really prepare for it. You can also just kind of pop in line and just have a chat. Um, it's really up to you to make it what you want, but think of it as a opportunity to have a little mini mentoring session. and. Um, you know, you can go to each of us if you budget the time out, right? So, because you have all those days to do it. So I would encourage you to meet each of us because we all have different businesses, different perspectives, different things we specialize in. And um, all these women are such powerhouses and so fantastic that it would just be an incredible opportunity to have a few minutes with each of them. Um, let's see, I just want to make sure I answered everything. But I think we did. So let us, um, we're about to get into the giveaways. I do want to say one thing. If you are moved to grab a ticket, and I hope you are, because this is going to be an incredible conference, I would love if you shout out in the TPS um, members only Facebook group that you got a ticket. Um, because it's just we want to hear like who's coming, who got a ticket. Um, we want to recognize you. We want to say like, yay, we're so glad you're going to be here. We want to kind of start building that relationship with you. So um, then once you do that, please also join the private group that shootups, private shootouts, headshot exchanges. Um, you can, you know, 
get a room, find someone to potentially be your roommate. Like there's so much that you can do with that. So those would be the two steps that I would say to please take if you have loved this live and you're so pumped and you can't wait to get a ticket. Um, so now I am going to do the giveaways. <laughs> um, so first I want to start with our $50 portraitmasters.com store gift card winners. Um, so we have Amber Matston, Liana, I hope I'm saying your name right, Liana Stone, Ruthie Mumbayabu. So sorry if I'm saying your name wrong. Mumbayabu is what I think. I'm not sure. Natalie Long, Brenda Tate. So if you heard your name called out or maybe pronounced wrong, but you think it's you, um, please contact support at suebriceeducation.com um, to, oh, sorry, support at theportraitmasters.com. So please contact support at theportraitmasters.com to claim your gift card. And we have two grand prize winners today. We're only going to do one, but yeah, we're doing two. Um, you, these two winners are going to get a free conference ticket. That means you're getting the $1,800 conference ticket prize. It's amazing. And I can't wait to see you in Arizona. So the two winners are Tanya Muller and Matt Dettelbach. So again, please contact support at theportraitmasters.com to claim that prize. I'm so excited to see both of you this year at the conference. It's going to be amazing. And congratulations. What an amazing prize to win. So um, join us next week. We're going to have new special announcements. We'll be live at this exact same time, uh, 12 p.m. Pacific with me. We'll have new special announcements. We'll have a new guest to talk about. Uh, about the conference with um we'll discuss the vendor lineup um we'll have more prizes so if you didn't win a prize this week or you didn't win the prize you were hoping to win come back um and we'll just make this a party every week and, and make sure to join the official tpm facebook group if you do have your ticket um and remember to see me and all the other amazing instructors and mentors at the conference this year. We can't wait to see you, to talk to you, to get to know you. Um, I'd love to have you in my breakout class, um, but all the breakout classes are such an amazing extra thing to sign up for as well. So we can't wait to see you there. And I, in the meantime, will see you next week live. So thank you so much.